In today's video, I'm going to show you how to read and write NFC tags with and without Home Assistant. Check it out. What's going on guys? I hope you're all well. So this video is a follow on from my NFC automations video. And in that video, I just talk about some of the automations that I use in my smart home. I think there's some good automations in there. I'll also leave a link below to my Reddit post. And in that post, lots of people have shared their NFC automation ideas, and some of them are really cool. And if you haven't got a clue what NFC is, there's another video that I've done floating around again, and that will teach you all you need to know. Alrighty then, I'm going to show you two different automations. The first automation is going to be how you can connect to a Wi-Fi network just by scanning an NFC tag. And the second automation is going to be how to trigger a home assistant automation by scanning a tag. Now, if you're only interested in a specific automation, this video is chaptered. So just have a look at the chapters below and just jump to the relevant part to you. Depending on which automation you want to do will determine what equipment you need. So for the first automation, connecting to a Wi-Fi network by NFC tag, we're obviously going to need an NFC tag. We're also going to need an NFC reading and writing app. And I'll leave a link in the description for the one that I've used, but you'll need to download that app on your phone as well. And you're also going to need an Android phone. The Wi-Fi from NFC tag only works with an Android phone. So the iPhone can download and use that app to read and write NFC tags, but it can't connect to Wi-Fi networks using NFC tags. Okay, for the second automation, we're going to need another NFC tag and a mobile phone. And this time it doesn't matter if it's an Android or an iPhone. You just need to make sure you have the Home Assistant app installed. I'll leave a link in the description for that if you haven't got it. And as well as the Home Assistant app, you're going to need to be able to connect to an active instant of Home Assistant. So if you haven't got an NFC tag, you can grab some off Amazon. I think it was about £8 for a pack of 10. And I'll have a link in the description for the one that I got in case you want to get that one too. I think the only other thing you need to do then is just hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. Okay, so if you've got all that, let's go. First of all, we're going to need to download the NFC Tools app on our phone, and I'll have a link for this in the description below. After we've installed the app, we're going to get our NFC sticker and just put it to one side. We're then going to open up the app. Once we've got the app open, we're going to choose Write, Add Record, and then we're just going to scroll down to where it says Wi-Fi Network. We're then going to enter all of our network details. So here you'll need to set your authentication and encryption, then you'll need to set your SSID and password for your network. Just as a reminder, any credentials that you write on this NFC tag are all readable. Okay, so once that's all filled in, we're gonna just choose okay. So we're then gonna just press write and we're gonna hold the phone next to the NFC tag. And then it should just say it's written or a little tick to say it's done. <laughs> And that should be that done now. So an Android device should be able to just come near this tag now and it should pop up a box to say that it's found a connection. Do you want to connect? So let's just quickly have a look and test that. I'm just going to touch the phone on the tag and when I eventually line that up, then a message will pop up to say that there's a connection found and you can just click connect. Okay, we're now going to have a look at getting an NFC tag into Home Assistant and having that tag run an automation when you scan it. So we're going to open up the Home Assistant app. We're then going to scroll down to app configuration. In app configuration, you'll see an option for NFC tags. We're going to choose that. And then there's an option then for reading tag and writing tag. We're going to choose write tag. We're then going to go with a manual identifier and we're going to name the tag. We're just going to call this cool tag. And we're going to choose done. It's then going to ask us to scan a tag. So again, just hold our phone near it and that's done. So that's the NFC tag added to Home Assistant. Now what we need to do is add an automation to that NFC tag and we can do this within the app or we can do it in the web. I'm going to do it with the web just because it's a bit easier to just see what you're doing. Okay, with Home Assistant open, we're going to come down to configuration and then we'll see this option here for tags. In tags, you'll be able to see any tags you've added. So when we were scanning our tag, we chose to manually assign the tag a name. And that's handy because now in our tag list, we can actually see what the tags are called. If we didn't do that, the tag would just have a random name. And if you're scanning a bunch of them in at a time, you will get confused easily. So I've got two tags here and we can easily see that the tag we created was cool tag. So in the top right here, if we just click the robot's head, this will take us into the basic automation for that tag. So currently we can see that when cool tag is scanned, nothing happens. 
So let's add an action and make our cool tag do something. So for our action, we're going to do a cool service. And let's just say we're going to turn a light on and off when you scan this tag. So let's do switch toggle. So the toggle will, if it's off, it'll turn it on. And if it's on, it'll turn it off. We'll do switch toggle and we're going to choose an entity and we're just going to choose our desk lamp. And we're going to click save there. So now when we scan that tag, it should toggle the desk lamp on and off. Okay, so here's our desk lamp. It's currently turned on. So I've got my phone. I'm just going to hold it over the NFC tag. And when I do that, it prompts me to say open in Home Assistant. So if you just click on that notification, you'll then see that that lamp's gone off. I'll do the same again. Just hold the phone over the tag to get a little prompt again. Click that. And the lamp's back on. There we are guys, that's been two quick automations on how you can write an NFC tag with your phone and how to write an NFC tag into Home Assistant and add an automation. So thank you for sticking around guys, if you have enjoyed the video drop a like rating and consider subscribing. This video has been a little janky um, but I've never done a video like this before where I've used the phone and done stuff like that so in the future I'll try and improve on that. Constant improvements and I've got lots more content to come. So I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. Cheers. If you have enjoyed the video, we're going to need a mobile phone. Phone.